Hey Montreal, my name is Lucky. I'm a pit bull, and today I'm gonna be giving out free hugs to anyone who's brave enough, and hopefully people aren't racist. Breedist? Let's just say prejudiced. I'm lucky. I'm very lucky. I have a good life, friends and a family who feed me and love me. Some of my brothers and sisters, however, have not been so lucky. Trained into hot and professional fighters, UFD ultimate fighting dogs. Me personally, I'm a lover, not a fighter. I have never shown any aggression towards any person of any kind, or canine for that matter, or even cats or squirrels. I know a Bichon Frise that straight up killed a guy. I mean, I know a guy who knows a guy. All right, let's look at some of the facts. But hang on one second, I just, I gotta clean my ass real quick. It's been bugging me for like 10 minutes. I can't even focus right now. All right, that's better. Sorry about that, all right, so here are the facts. On September 26th, Mayor Denny Corder and Annie Sampson will likely be enacting these new animal control bylaws that target dogs that look like me. <coughs> Racist. This law means all dogs like me need a license to exist by December 31st, 2016, otherwise we die. New dog owners in Montreal will no longer be able to adopt pit bull type dogs, meaning current pit bulls and shelters posing no threat to anyone in society will also die. Those of us who survive the ordeal will have to wear a muzzle every time we go outside for the rest of our lives. Owners will have to provide proof of residency within city limits and proof that they own the dog on the date on which the bylaw comes into force, which means if they can't for some reason provide that proof or have forgotten to get it by this date, their dogs will be taken away and euthanized and die. Fines will be increased to a maximum of four grand for offenses such as biting or being off leash. These new rules will also extend to Montreal's most vulnerable, the homeless, as if their lives weren't hard enough already. Lastly, one of the most important facts to discuss here is that a similar ban already exists in Toronto and has been proven to be completely f***ing useless. So here's my take on all of this. In a perfect world, if I was mayor, I would tell you all, you're responsible for the fate of your best friends. We trust you, you made us. So instead of killing us all and banning all of us, maybe you could breed some of these tendencies out by rewarding good doggies like me with future stud services. I would personally volunteer my services, you know what I mean? Who wants to get lucky? Any bitches out there wanna get lucky? Yeah, ah, if only I still had my testicles. What a world I would create. All right, that's it, Montreal. I want to give a huge thanks to everyone at MTL Blurb for letting me come out here and air my grievances with the city of Montreal today. Thank you to all the local people supporting our cause. My boy Montreal artist, Gene Labadette, AKA Turf One, for painting two dope murals. And my girl, Kim Doucette, Thank you so much for having my back and slapping the mayor the other day, Kim. But most importantly, thank you to everyone for speaking up for those of us who can't. Share this video on Facebook and let's get a hashtag going. Hashtag lucky for mayor. I'll run this city right. See how many girls love me and how many guys want to be me? Everybody loves Lucky. Peace out, Montreal. We'll see you soon.